Buddy Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we got Marvel Legends series Invincible Iron Man, and this is from the Black Panther wave, the Okoye Build a Figure wave, and it comes in this typical Marvel Legends style packaging. Got a little Iron Man logo there. Some pretty cool Iron Man art on the side. I just love how it's basically like blue and has a little accents of color throughout. Same on both sides. Get a little bit of information. A little, a little nifty little pose of Invincible Iron Man. And everybody from this wave. Got uh, this one coming in the mail. And then we need these two. I don't really want those two, but I need them just to complete the wave. But let's go ahead and get Tony Stark out of the package. So we got Mr. Stark out of the package, and he looks phenomenal um, already straight out of the box when I took him out. I do have some issues with them, and we'll go over those after I go over the accessories like I always do. So he does come with a good amount of accessories, um, one of them being he has one of these equipped, and uh, he comes with a fist hand. Sculpted and painted very, very well really nice it's got that bend in there as you see he has one on there and I totally dropped this other one but he also comes with a repulsor blast hand love the sculpt of the hand I love the paint job of the hand it's beautiful it's really really well done what bothers me This has no bend. You cannot bend the wrist. They're pre-positioned. Once it's equipped, the most you get is some rotation. Why they did that, I have no idea. So it's very, very frustrating. So with these fist hands, I noticed this one that came equipped on them bends. This one that didn't looks like it should but it won't. And that is because if you look, this is like a different plastic. This is all casted in the same color plastic. So it's all one piece. Versus this one having those two tones of red. Can't really see it. There you go. So you get like the pearlescent, like shiny red, and then you get like a solid red. So yeah, that's disappointing. If anybody else has gotten this figure and doesn't have a wrist bend on their second hand, let me know. Because if this is how it's supposed to be, okay. But if not, I need to reach out to Hasbro. He does come also with a cannon. Like a, it can be attached to his forearm. And basically, like, with his suit, it can basically generate weapons. And, uh, this is the one that we get. It's casted in red plastic. It's got some good sculpt work into it. A little bit of marbleization in the plastic. But not too bad. And it has the hole on the front. Which works with these two thruster blaster effects that we got. So, as you can see, it just plops in right there. Or they can actually go into the hands. He also comes with a very, very up-to-date uh, modern Iron Man Tony Stark face. And I love it. Like, it looks really, really well. His eyes are pretty uh, on point. I don't have one look in one direction versus the other. Really cool goatee. It's a very, very clean sculpt. What I think gets a little nasty is on these little tips of his hair. You get a little excess plastic on there. You can sort of see it on there. But it's awesome. I was really looking forward to this figure. When I took him out of the package, he feels just like all the Iron other Iron Men. Like, he's very 
I guess the glossiness makes him feel like he's brittle. That's just that's just on touch. Um, how he feels to me. He gets this really amazing looking Iron Man helmet look. Uh, this plastic is casted in like a pearlescent plastic, so you get um, some marbleization. Like I get it right on his top of his dome. You can see that little looks like a crack. That's just the plastic. So I mean, it's not horrible, but I'm like, come on, right there. But uh, yeah, it looks looks really awesome when he looks up. Um, he does get that much okay. of looking upward. Uh, can look down a decent amount. His chin just sort of stops it. When he looks down, you can see that nice gray parts of his neck. And then, like I said, when he looks up, he can't look up too much, but still, still looks pretty awesome. The detail, the sculpt work on this is really great. And then I got some nasty uh, marbleization in the chest. You can sort of see it when the light hits it. Just does not look good. All right there. But I guess you can't really control plastic too much. Arms, they actually can bend up like so. Bicep swivel. So you get that double jointed elbow. And the elbow actually looks... It's just, it's pretty cool because it's like not overly sticking out right there. So when he bends it, it just looks nice and clean. Then you get into the pulser hands <laughs> again. That's all you can do. Rotate. That's it. Nothing more. No bending. So, I mean, you guess with it being pre-positioned, you can get your typical positioning. But... I just wish it had that wrist bend. Let me decide how I want the the repulsor hands to look. So this one, basically same articulation. He just gets the wrist bend with the fisted hands. Sculpt wise in the back, phenomenal. All the way down, just solid plastic. This. It's just so nice looking. You get that ab crunch right there. As far as forward as he goes. And then he goes back quite a bit. And it doesn't look bad at all. He does get the waist swivel giving him the uh, shelf hips. Legs can only go far this, uh, do the splits this far apart, so he's definitely not doing any Van Dam splits. He's got that uh, thigh swivel, but again, you got this sculpt right here. Once you turn it, you know, tear it messes up that, that whole line and everything. I got more marbleization in that leg right there. Double jointed knee, which looks great. Can do a Spartan kick. Can bend up. Bend down. And then he gets the pivot. And the shoes and stuff, or the boots, or the feet, sculpted, painted really well. The bottom even, even painted. So it looks really nice. I just wish they would have maybe did more on the bottom. But the overall figure is not a bad figure. It just has some has its flaws, like I guess a lot of figures can have. Feels good in the hands. You know, popping in. Pulster blast. That pops on really well. This is almost like a this is a softer plastic for the gun. So yeah, you get all the little blasts on the guns and stuff. Looks pretty awesome. Even, you know, I guess if you straighten his legs out. Get that whole Iron Man getting blasted up. Thruster from his hands type effect. 
which, I mean, I guess it works. I don't know. I just still feel like this hand should bend. But let's go ahead and take these off for a second. Swap the hands, and let's pop the head off. Actually, let me see something. There you go. Give him a Mega Man arm. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool. Pops right in. Like, oh, I lost my hand. But, uh, let's go ahead and pop this on here. There you go. Pretty cool. The Tony Stark head actually fits this body very, very well. And then we can even, if you have that vintage wave Iron Man, you could even be nice and borrow the thrusters. The one just fell off. Sort of loosen his foot, but get that nice thruster effect, which is pretty sweet. Now, I did bring out a couple more Iron Man uh, figures that I have that are from the Hasbro Legends. I could have brought out some toy bits, but I didn't. Um, but as you can see, we got the Vintage Wave. We got, I think this is from the Civil War. Might be. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Either way, it's uh, I do believe it's MCU. And uh, you just sort of could see the difference between them all. You get uh, the short and stubby, classic-looking Iron Man that aggravates me because the arms fall off, awful shoulder pads, thin plastic. But still, got to have it part of the Iron Man collection. And then you got the new one, which has great articulation, except those alternate hands aggravate me because this one came out has less articulation and uh you get the ability to hey oh what's what is, what's going on here they they bend they bend and wait wait what oh it rotates too holy cow they could have done that with this new figure there's no reason why they couldn't i know they have this part has like the little extra lip at the top which i guess if they didn't want it to I don't know. At least have a bend in there. Let this little lip prevent it from bending versus not giving it to us at all. This Iron Man is an amazing Iron Man. I'm glad I got it. But as you guys saw through my review, I sort of picked at it. And uh, not every figure is 100% perfect. So that sums up my review of the new Invincible Iron Man. And if you like what you saw, hit a thumbs up there. Subscribe if you want to keep seeing what I'm doing. And as always, good luck hunting, keep on collecting, and have a beautiful day.